Hey, how's it going guys? Derek here from Addictive Tips and in this video we will be talking about how to set the program defaults in GNOME Shell as well as the file defaults. And uh, we're going to be doing this all through the graphical interface so we're not going to be using the terminal in this but if you want to learn how to set default applications with the terminal you can go ahead and check out the article that I wrote in the description of this video and it goes over how to do all of that. Anyways, so to set the default applications, you're going to first need to open up the application area in GNOME. To do that, press the Windows key to open up Activities mode. From there, you can type in default and uh, find the default application thing here. It should show under Settings. Launch it, and then you can see the defaults. So let's start off with the setting the default web browser. If you have multiple web browsers installed, you can change the defaults. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a default web browser, uh, multiple web browsers that I want to set default. Firefox is my preferred web browser, so I'm going to leave this blank. But if you want to change it, say you have Chrome or Chromium or something, you can check, check the, the uh, tick box here in the menu and select it. If you want to change the mail client, once again, just the checkbox, go through. My preferred email client is Thunderbird, so I can change the default. As for calendar, if you want to change the calendar, go to this menu here and change it to whatever calendar application you prefer to use. For music, same thing. You can go through and change it to whatever you'd like. You set it to videos if you want. You set it to Rhythmbox if you prefer Rhythmbox. Photo Viewer, you can change it to Eye of Mate or Shotwell, whatever you have installed. And videos, you can change the default for that as well. Once you swap these, it'll instantly change how your system handles the web browser, the mail, calendar, music, video, and photos. And it'll happen instantly. Once you're satisfied with your changes, you can just go ahead and close that and your defaults for your programs on GNOME are set. So setting file defaults is a little different. So to do this, you're going to have to have your file manager open up and you're going to need to find programs that's, that specifically Basically, you're going to need to have files open the file manager here, and you're going to need to find a file that you want to change the defaults of. So if you don't have those, it's not going to be easy. So for example, if I want to change the default file that opens up M3U files, I can find the folder with this file in the file manager. I said files a lot, I know. but. Once I'm there, I can right click and select properties and then I can go to open with. Now by default, this is going to open up with the videos application. If I wanted to change it to Rhythmbox, I can go ahead and select the Rhythmbox application and then click set as default. Now from now on, it is going to open up with the Rhythmbox application. For another thing, if you want to change the default for, let's say, a PNG file. You can find that. You can right click on it, select properties, go to open with, change the default, click select, set default, and it will change instantaneously. And then you can go ahead and open that up. Basically, you just need to be able to find files on your system and change the defaults with the properties. It works with every file. You just got to select the open with. So disk image writer, you could set that instead of disk image mounter for ISO files. The possibilities are endless. Basically, you just need to find the type of file that you're looking to change the default on and just right click on it, find the properties, find open with, and change what you want to open it with. And it's that simple. So that's how you change the default applications for GNOME. And I will see you guys in the next video.